Hello, welcome. In this video, we are going to learn use a read file in segment operation of a stage file. So as we know that we have read file operation, read entire file. Read entire file can read data file up to 100 MB only. If our data file size is more than 100 MB, we cannot directly use read entire file of a stage file operation. So then what we need to do, we have read entire file segment, read file in segment operation of a stage file. It will help you to read a data file having more than 100 MB and up to 1 GB of size. So in previous video, we have learned how to read data file from server having 100 MB of size, more than 100 MB of size. So we can directly read a data file from server which is having the less than 100 MB of size directly. But if our data file size having more than 100 MB of size, directly read the that's why we have read file in download file operation. So we use download file operation to download the file from server into OIC. And now in this video, we will learn how we can read the file of downloaded file in OIC. So let's create one integration which will use to download and read file in segments. So I will select application type as application and I will choose XX read the stage sorry the stage read file in segments integration 0 1 i will give the name something like that so that it can be easy so first we have to add the rest endpoint so that we can configure request and response payload next and here i have to provide the uri so i will give that read download and read I will select I will select method as post so that I can configure request and response payload both. Now, next we have to provide the request payload. So I have already make a copy of request payload here. So I will just copy request payload from here. So I will select JSON schema and I will provide the here. Simple. Next, I have to provide the response payload. So I have already copy and response payload here. In the response payload, I will provide the status file name and the file size. And here I will select JSON and the inline. Now done. Okay. Next. Done. So we added the rest endpoint so that we can configure request and response payload. Now it's time to add the FTP endpoint to download a file from server. So here I ordered the FTP endpoint. Let me drag the FTP endpoint here. Same, I have shown you in the previous video how we can download file from server. So I will give the name as POW and download FTP. Download file in the score FTP. I will give the name something like that. Next, I have to provide the operation. So I will use download file operation. As we know that our data file size can be more than 100 MB. That's why I selected download. We have to provide the file directory, file name, and the virtual directory in OIC from where we are going to download. So I will give the name as TIM directly as stem and both these two we will pass in mapping as we have the same in request payload only and remember download file operation does not require file structure as it will just only download the file and provide the file in OIC. it will not read the file or open the file that's why it doesn't require a schema here we are in the mapping we have to provide the file name and the file path so in the file name we are getting as a request payload only file name file directory and download directly we provided in the configuration part of the FTP endpoint only. Now here we downloaded the file. Now it's time to read the file. So how we can read the file? We can read the file with the help of a stage operation. So here you can see once we will add the stage operation, we can read the file directly if the, our read of fi data file size having less than 100 MB. But we know that our data size file size having more than 100 MB of size. So we will use read file in segments. So I will provide the name here. Read file in segment stage. Next, if you have any doubt, you can make a comment on that. I will select instead of read entire file, I will select read file in segment. And here we have to provide the file name from where we are going to read the file or the file space directory. So these two we have coming from the download file option. So here what I will do instead of providing the file name and the directory i will choose reference so here once you will select here we have to provide the file reference only so here we have to provide the file reference so just map here and here you can see download ftp file ftp expand here 
inside that ICS, we have downloaded response. And here we have ICS file. Inside that, we have ICS and then file reference. I will map this file reference here. Even in new version of integration, we can provide the segment size also, but I don't want to change segment size here. That's whatever 200 is there, we will use the same. We can use sequential and processial, uh, process, uh, sequential and parallel. So I don't want to go for sequential, I just go for sequential. Next. Here we have to provide the schema as now we are going to read the file. So our file is CSV. I will select CSV here. Now next, we have to provide the schema. So as I have already created the schema file, the sample is a file for this data file. You can see I have shown you in the previous video many times. So I will use the same schema here. So now here we will upload the same file. This is the gross domestic product sample file. Okay. And in sample file, you can see we have all the column which column having in the data file only. Now here only we have to provide the record name. So I will use REC and record set. I, I, I will use RE set. Next and done. So we successfully able to add the stage file read file in segment operation, which will read the file. So here if we want to get the data or we need to pass this data to somewhere else or insert data in ATP table, whatever operation we want, we can perform here. So let me just provide the log message here only so that we can see the logger. What is the data file data? So I will in the logger, I will select always and here I will use concrete and I will provide the message like whatever data file we have. So suppose we have data file as sequence serial number, sequence reference period. So I will first display these three columns only. So I will use S L N O hard coded value and from where we will get the data? We will get the data from segment. So sorry. So here if you'll see, we cannot directly log use the log message. So what we can do in the log message only, I just want to get the total number of record in the in the segment, each in the each segment. So what we can do, we can use concat total records in segment and it will show 200 only because we have the segment size as 200. So from where we will get the record count? We will get the record count from the read file in segment. And in the record set, here we have, this is the record array element. So for getting the count, we use count function. And in the count function, we need to provide this value. So that now everything is done. So now you can see it will print message like that, total record in segment record count. So we are done with the logger. Now you can see here what we are going to do is that we added the stage file read file in segment to read the data in segment. Right. So now what we need to do we after that we added the logger and if you want to read the data one by one, it will return back 200 data in a single time. And if we want to read the data, what we can do, we can use a loop. So here we have for each loop. We will uh, use for each loop on this segment well only. So here you can see read file in segment stage. I will expand this one inside that we have array element. So I will drag this array element here and we'll provide the name. So I will provide the name for each loop where and done. So we added the for each loop for this segment only. And here again, we can add the logger to display the message. So let me add the logger here. In the logger, I will provide the print the sequence value. So where is the logger? Just let me add the logger here. And here I will print the concat. And what is the first column? I will print first column at serial number. So I will print serial number. SLN from where we will get the file. We will get the file from the for each loop where. Expand for each loop where here we have serial number drag. Now after that, if we want to print anything else, let me print the Second column as serial reference. Let me copy the same here only. Serial reference and what kind of value we want to print a serial reference coming from this serial reference. After that, let me add one more column. That is period. P-R-I-O-D period and what from where we will get the value? We will get for value from this column only. Now here you can see mapping is done. Expression is showing wrong. Let me check. Yes, here I forget the add comma. So you can see it will print message like that serial number. What is the serial number coming for the data file? Serial references coming from data file, all these things. Now come outside. 
we are successfully implemented the stage file operation it's showing warning because a stage file read and segment operation can have the various last data and it can generate an error of the timeout for the integration that's why it's showing the uh, warning message you can see read file in segment is not recommended for a stage file action in synchronous integration as we added the request and the response payload that's why it's showing this warning so just save we have one error for the business identifier so let me add Sorry, let me add the business identifier here. I will use file name as a tracking variable outside. You can see error is resolved now. Here we have one more error. Let me see. Okay. Let me delete those. These three, I don't want to add anything here. So let me delete this one. Yeah. So now we don't have, we have one error. It's in warning. So we don't require to do anything. Just save integration in configure status. We will go back and we will run the integration so it's already suggested that whenever we are using read file in segment use schedule integration for that or else remove the response payload so that it will not show you the warning so integration is done now we will activate this integration and done so when we will run the integration we have to provide the file directory so this is our file directory i will copy from here now we need to provide the file name so this is the file name which having the more than 100 mb of size the same file name when we will submit it will download the file from server into oic then use read in segment operation to perform the operation so here we are getting su error let me check what error we are getting and which state so we are getting error okay yeah here you can see we pass the wrong payload so here we forget to pass this Right. So here, yeah, now run. So it will first download the file from server into OIC. Then with the help of a stage file, read file in segment operation, it will read the data file in two hundred chunk of 200. As you can see, there were chunk of 200 option provided in the read file in segment configuration. And after that, each and every 200 record, we added the for each loop. If with the help of for each loop, we will iterate each and every record, and inside the for each loop, we added the log message. So instead of adding the log message, you can pass this data to any REST API, SOAP API, or any third party system, or insert data into database, or create new files, that kind of operation you can perform there. So I'm just waiting to complete this integration. So you can see integration completed successfully, and we have uh, so as we forget to provide the mapping in the integration response that's why we don't have but here you can see we got the data integration completed successfully and if you will see invoke download once we invoke it in the response you can see we have the file reference here at the same file reference we added parallel stage read in segment and once we will expand this one you can see we have total how many segments are there we have total 824 segments added and each and every segment having the data so once if you will make check the segment you can see message received by segment 828 what's message we receive we receive the data so again that the payload size is having more than 200 of side kb it's why it's not showing and after that we added the log message i can show you the log message here just give me a minute so every time it's taking a little bit of time to reload the message so here we added the for each loop and in the for each loop, you can see we have 200 iteration because of we have 200 records in the segment. And once you will expand, you can see iteration one, two, three, and every iteration we added the log message. So if you will see the log message, you can see this is the logger. In the logger, we have the message. So this it's taking a little bit of time to reload. So this is the simple integration where we use read file in segment operation to read the data whatever data we are getting from server so it's taking a little bit of time i will create separate videos where i'll show you the data inserted into table so once we will done with the ftp endpoint we will show you that also thank you so much for watching if you have any other queries you can make a comment on that